Today, I want to talk about some updates to the Z editor, and the updates revolve around this new Z AI service that they've set up. There's also some changes they've made in terms of configuring and using AI features within Z. So I want to cover both of these. But first, I just want to mention with the most recent release yesterday, they announced Z AI, part of which is that they have a new hosted service that uses Claude Sonnet 3.5 from Anthropic. So you can use this API with Zed, and for the time being, it's actually free during their initial launch period, whatever that means. It's just specified as free right here. So I want to show you how to get this set up, how to use it, how to take advantage of it, because Claude is awesome, and combining that with Zed makes for a really neat experience when it comes to getting some assistance when you're writing code. All right, so first up, if I come over to Zed, a couple ways I can go about getting this set up. First thing I could do here, I can open up the assistant configuration. So assistant and show config, do that. Then over on the right here, you can see the various different providers like here's Anthropic, but don't use that one because instead of Anthropic, we want to use the one for Zed. And to get access to the one for Zed, we actually need to sign in and authorize to Zed. And you can do that from their website to set up an account here. Once you've set that up then, and you've authorized to be able to provide basic information from your GitHub profile. Then you can come back to Zed here. And if you look for a client and then sign in, that should sign you in. All right, and then once that's done, you're brought back and you can see I have basic access now on the top here, I have Zed show up to the models from the Anthropic through Zed AI free plan, which means I can come over to the chat panel here or create a new one of these. So I'll make a new context here. And then I need to come up to the drop down here to pick from the models that are available across all the providers. So in here, pick the very first one that is Claude 3.5 Sonnet with Z on the end of it. If you pick that, now you're ready to go. What is your name? To see if it can talk to us, command enter. There you go, my name's Claude, it's nice to meet you. So now I have the chat panel up and running. And then I also of course have support for inline assistance. So I could select some code over here, control enter. I can provide a prompt here and I've got one pre can that we'll use. So I'll paste that into the prompt, asking it to rearrange the output of this command. And of course, Claude will do well with this. Give this a second here and you can see it gradually updates the code. It shows me a diff of it. Of course, if I like that, I can then accept that. And now it's reversed the order of the output and that is correct. It should be three, two, one. It was one, two, three before. So that's the inline assistant. And of course, if I open up the terminal with command J, I should be able to get assistance here as well with control enter, list big files, submit that. And for some reason that failed, let's try that again. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm gonna come over to the drop down here. Yep, I'm using Claude Sonnet for a model. Let's just pick that again, just in case. Submit that again, and there you go, I finally get a command. I don't know what happened there. It's possible the LLM response was invalid. It couldn't parse out the command and then paste it in here, hard to say. The good news is this is working. And of course, now I could run my command and I'm off to the races. All right, so that's the foundation of using Claude with Zed. On top of that, then you could use other providers. If you come back to the configuration panel, you could sign in with an Anthropic account. You could use GitHub Copilot, Google AI now, even Olama works now. And then at the bottom, of course, OpenAI. And then one more thing I wanted to point out when you're in the context of a conversation over here, there are some new commands that are available and these have been added over time, but basically you have some prompt like commands that can allow you to do things like insert the date. So if I hit return here after slash now, you can see it puts in the date. Can I do that though? I could do other things like maybe I want to copy in the entire file I'm looking at on the left there. I can do that then with the tab command, hit return there. And I can expand this and edit it if I want or just expand it to show you it actually has the file. So inline the entire file into a block. And of course, if I want to get rid of the block, I can just hit the delete key, get rid of it. And then there are other commands as well. Like there's one for inserting diagnostics if you had a language server that maybe had some problems. Or if you wanted some terminal output, if I ran the ls command here and I wanted to include this terminal output, I could come back here and do slash terminal return. And then if I go up here, you can see, if I expand this out, you can see I've got the terminal output copied verbatim from the terminal pane. All right, so that is a quick overview of some of the changes within Zed and specifically how you can use Zed AI for free. So take a minute and check it out, see what you think, and leave me a comment down below.